I was praying about some things and God was showing me some things about the state of the church. And there was a, I saw a playground with a merry-go-round on it. And there was a child on it going around and around. It was going pretty fast. And there was a father standing there watching. And as it went around, it got going too fast. And the child fell off and scratched themselves up, and they were bleeding on their hands and their knees and crying and just weeping. And the child looked up and then got up and started running toward the child's father. And as he started running toward the father, the father knelt down on one knee and opened his arms and was ready to take the child and and fix him. And the child was running right toward him. And then right when he got even with him, the child ran right past him and went into the arms of a doctor. And he showed me, I want to be that to them. But they keep running to other people instead of running to me. You could take that same analogy and look at it. You could run past the father whenever you're hungry, whenever you have need. You can run past the father and run to the bank for a loan. See, we don't, need, we don't need Jehovah Jireh anymore. We have a bank that will loan money to us. Say, so, well, I don't need Jehovah Shalom anymore. Why? Because I got a doctor down there that will give me pills that will give me peace. See, we got all these other gods. And we have to realize God wants to be God to us. And the one name that wraps it all up is El Shaddai, the God who is more than enough. Literally, the name means the all-breasty one. Why? Because as just as a mother's breast is where the child gets all, I mean, total sustenance. God says, that's who I want to be to you. I want to be everything to you. And too often we keep saying, but you don't understand. It's easier to go to the bank. It's easier to go to the doctor. It's easier to, to, to do these other things rather than go to God. It's only easier if you have not prepared ahead of time. But most people live from crisis to crisis. Most people live from miracle to miracle. And God's best is not for you to live from miracle to miracle. He wants you to be the miracle to miracle for those out, outside. His best is for us to live in the blessing of God. So that we don't need a miracle. See, if I'm, if, if I'm healthy, I don't need healing. But yet God is still healer. And I know he's healer. And my faith in him as the healer is strong. And so now I can have faith in him for other people and don't have to use my faith to get me healed. So the key is be prepared ahead of time. 